Hey guys, this is Justin just coming at you with something a little bit different today. This has nothing to do with Star Wars and nothing really to do with me personally, but this story has touched me. It's something that I've been following for a long time and I thought it was important that I share with you guys. If you're a hockey fan or in the hockey community, you may have heard of the story of Ben Stelter. Ben was a little boy who at the age of five was diagnosed with glioblastoma. He went through a lot to try to halt and stop the progression of his disease, chemotherapy, surgery, and more, but ultimately, it was a very difficult, if not impossible, type of cancer to cure, and I think his parents decided to just try to give him the best life possible. Unfortunately, while childhood cancer is relatively rare, it's nowhere near rare enough. Ben was an Edmonton Oilers super fan, and that's how he made his way into the public consciousness. If you're a hockey fan who uses social media or watches Canadian hockey games, you've probably seen this story one way or another, and it touched a lot of people, including myself. The Edmonton Oilers, which is of course an NHL team, fully embraced Ben and made him a part of his team. I'm not an Oilers fan at all, but it was impossible not to cheer for them and, of course, Ben throughout this most recent NHL playoffs. Everything from skating with the team to giving high fives at the end of the game to getting his own hockey card made up. It was just so nice to see this little boy going through something almost beyond comprehension have this amazing experience. Based on a global news article I read as well, it also seems like the Oilers were doing a lot simply to help Ben and his family out, fundraising for charities, providing emotional and even financial support to the family directly. And it's just an incredibly touching story and one that hit a lot of people, including myself, very hard. I think it's always possible to understand the suffering that these people are going through, but when you have kids, it brings it to another level and as someone with kids... It was really hard to see Ben as a little boy and someone who should be in the carefree prime of his life being affected by the disease and knowing that despite how hard he fought, that he probably only has a little time left. Anyway, his dad posted on Twitter today that, unfortunately, Ben did pass away. He said, The world lost the most special boy and an absolute hero last night. Ben, you were the best son we could ever hope for, and you were my best bud ever. Your sisters are so lucky to have you. As such a sweet brother, you fought so long and hard and beat so many odds. You truly changed the world that's so much good in your short time here. Mom and I are so proud of you. You had a bigger heart than anyone we've ever met. Our hearts are left with a Ben-sized hole in them, and our life will never be the same without you. I didn't know Ben, but I was one of, I think, a lot of people who were touched by his story. And Ben's story is a rare one in that we got to meet him. We got to learn about him. Lots of these families, though, lose these kids, and we never get to meet them. And they don't get all the spotlight or the help. So I just wanted to take a second to remember Ben on the channel, all the other kids who have suffered similar things. Obviously, all the ads earned on this video will be donated. And I'm also going to put a link down in the description to the Kids with Cancer Society. If you want to donate, feel free. But that's all I got. Again, what can you say about something like this? I just wanted to mention it on the channel because it meant a lot to me. And it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, especially, of course, today. Until next time, be safe, guys. Have a good one, and may the force be with you. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ben. How are you? Ben. What did you think of the game today? Oh, my God. Play the ball, baby.